The advent of Arahat Mahinda with his retinue of missionaries could be regarded as an inaugural and indelible event in our history. From then on, Theravada Buddhism spread throughout the country. The great Dhamma has not only been a set of beliefs and a faith, but a great system which formed the lives of the people and nurtured our culture. With it, every aspect of our culture, such as language, literature, arts and crafts, customs, modes of worship and festivals developed and went headway. Many customs and observances of people mingled with the veneration of the Bodhi tree, worshipping relics of the Buddha and Arahats and idealizing stupas and Buddha images. Writing and preserving the Tripitaka, the teachings of the Buddha, in book form at the Aluvihara in Matale during the reign of the King Valagamba by the Mahasangha is a landmark in the history of Buddhism. This is known as the Fourth Council in Theravada Buddhist history. Art of writing was gradually established and Buddhist literature written in Pali, Sanskrit and single languages developed. Buddhism spread in the country in no time and many took to monasticism. They both learned and were disciplined in Dhamma. Jayasri Mahabodhi, one of the most sacred symbols related to Buddhism, was brought in by Bhikkhuni Sangamitta during the reign of King Devanam Pietissa. It is one of the eight sacred locations in Anuradhapura. The sacred tooth relic brought into the country during the reign of King Kitsirimevan is kept in the temple of the tooth relic in Kandy. With the influence of Buddhism developed various religious constructions, the main construction being the stupa. With it, several other architectural creations came up. They are Vahalkada, Vatadage, Korovangala, Muragala, Sandakadapahana, and also sculpture, carvings, and paintings. According to Mahavansa, the first ever stupa built enshrining the relics of the Buddha or any other sacred thing is Mahayangana stupa. Tupa Rama in Anuradhapura is the first stupa built after Arahat Mahinda's arrival in the country. The other notable stupas are Ruan Velisaya, Abhegiriya, Jetavana, Kiri Vihara, Rankut Vihara, and Mirisavatiya. Samadhi statue in Anuradhapura embodies the purity and serenity of the Buddha. Mihintale is the location where Arhat Mahind preached Dhamma to King Devanam Pietissa and the citizens on a Poson full moon poene. Sri Pandasthana is an important place of worship situated in Ratnapura district. It is said that the Buddha arrived at this place, the top of the Samarla hill, at the invitation of God Saman and placed his footprint upon it. Art is another important aspect of Buddhist culture. Among the ancient art in the country, Sigiri frescoes are world renowned. Art in Buddhist temples is based on the life of the Buddha, history of Sri Lanka and Jataka stories. 
the frescoes in Tivanka Image House at Raja Mahavihara in Yapahua and at Kalani Raja Mahavihara are also excellent works of art. With the arrival of Arahat Mahinda, religious thinking, religious rituals and festivals became more orderly and systematic. Since the sacred tooth relic was brought to the country, there has been an annual religious festival, precision of the tooth relic and the festival of the tooth relic are grand religious festivals. There have been a series of religious rituals and meritorious activities in the name of Sri Mahabodhi tree since its arrival in Sri Lanka. Sri Mahabodhi tree and the sacred tooth relic are of much influence on the lives of Sri Lankans. Durut Perhara in Kalania is also an important cultural activity. Festivals of Vesak, Poson and Asala held in the respective months. Recitation of Pirit, Dhamma sermons, Katuna festivals are the religious ceremonies inherited to Sri Lankans from ancient times. The religious festival most important for Sri Lankan Buddhists is Vesak. On this day, people engage in meritorious acts such as doing various material offerings including food, incense oil lamps and flowers in the name of the Buddha. Adherence to religious principles, listening to Dhamma sermons, taking part in meditation programs and observing seal, erecting pandals, lighting lanterns, doing many other decorations in celebration of the Buddha's birth, enlightenment and the Parnibbana are the norm.